Hey pimps, Doc Dryden from the Pimp OS support team. In this video I want to quickly cover how to set up mining pools in Pimp OS. I'm not going to cover pool mining versus solo mining or which pool is best. Remember Google is your friend. One thing to cover before we get started. Most pools are open pools, meaning that you do not have to register or create an account with the pool in order to use it. If you decide to go with a pool that requires an account, then you'll need to do that before setting up your minor configs. So, for this video demonstration, I will remotely set up CPU miner on my test rig to mine XMR from Nanopool. Okay, the first thing you'll want to do is to head over to the Mining Pools website to gather up some important information. Specifically, we need the pool's address and port number. Each pool is different, so you may need to explore the site to find the information you need. In this case, Nanopool is pretty straightforward. Welcome to Nanopool. So since I'm going to be mining XMR, I will just click on the Monero link on their homepage. For Nanopool, the connection information I need is on the help page. It's up here at the top. Scrolling down to the pool settings, I will find the pool address and the port number needed. So with this information ready, I can now connect to my test rig via SSH. And there's my test rig. To help keep this video short, I've already set up CPU miner on my test rig. I can show this with pimp list. As we can see, it's in there as ID1. So to edit the configuration for CPU miner, I can just type in edit one. And this will open the config file for CPU miner into the editor. So we're going to scroll down until we find where we are. There, Nanopool. Since we're using Nanopool, we can now double check all of our settings with our web page. So the first part, of course, would be the uh, actual address. And since I'm on the east coast of the US, I'm going to go ahead and change it over to that one by simply changing out the European one. And of course, messing everything up as I go. Next, I'll check for the port 14444. 14444. So we're good there. Under user one, this is where we will put our uh, wallet address and our worker name. And just, I'll leave it as pimp worker for now. Nanopool uses a password of just lowercase x, and then that is it. So now that we've got our address and our port number set, in our config file. I will save this file and now I will start the miner with pimp start one. So now that our miner has started up if we want to see the screen we can SC and we'll see that we have connected to Nanopool. And we have started mining. At this point, we can then go back to Nanopool's webpage. And if we back up. There we go. So Nanopool uses your wallet address instead of a login, uh, username, and password. So to check our miner, We'll type in our wallet address here, which I already had copied to my clipboard, and then click on search. 
this will bring us to the page for our wallet and we can now see down below under workers our pimp worker we can also see on the chart the uh, increase in hash rate the current calculated hash rate all of the information is here okay so that's how we set up our pools to our miners on our pimp rigs uh, something to note uh, every pool is different in how quickly they will report your actual mining so if you check your pool and you don't see your worker right away it can take anywhere from you know five to ten minutes check it again if it still hasn't popped up then you might need to go back and check your configuration you may have the wrong wallet address or it may not actually be mining correctly be sure to check out the getpimp.org forums for any additional information and happy mining pimps.